that. That was I, some I, subtle shade, Justin. Did you hear what he was, said about you? About being a fuckboy? Yes, that. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So a lot of people wondered if uh, Veronica Rodriguez and Justin Faster were still together before the tell-all part one. And after the tell-all, we pretty much know they're done, but people were not, you know, really looking at the clues because there were lots of clues. Now, let me give you a little bit of background. Veronica was introduced with her now ex-fiance, Tim Malcolm, a 90 day fiance before the 90 days. During season 3 of 90 Day The Single Life, she found a liking with Justin Foster after matching with him on a dating app. So Veronica fancied the 35-year-old 35, 35 younger workout fanatic that shares two daughters who are 8 and 5 years old with his ex. So after a great first date, Justin and Veronica were in for a surprise when of course they walked into Veronica's home for a nightcap and found Tim sitting on her couch. Kind of strange to some people. The situation even became stranger and more awkward when Tim offered to walk Justin out while Justin confessed and I quote, I think him being there is weird cause it's her house. Further saying, and I quote, it's not Tim's house, prompting Justin to have a conversation with Veronica about boundaries. But that was one of her first clues, especially per the tell all where Veronica seems to be a little bit loosey goosey inviting guys over and uh, I don't know, uh, wanting to maybe fool around a little bit with guys upon meeting them. And that's me putting it in certain words, certain terms. Anyways, despite this, Veronica stepping back from her friendship with Tim, she learned that Justin was considering a move to Florida with his ex and the mother of his two kids. Then did you, why wait until after you slept with her mm. to tell that's her that bad, you that's were... That's a bad coincidence. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe in coincidence. Uh -uh. You literally slept with me and then you were like, I'm going to leave in 12 months so we can keep sleeping no. together for a year no, and then I'm going to go. Know, I'm not that fuck boy, you know, that... You know, he may think I am. So, some further clues were that Veronica and Justin broke up or comments made on her Instagram post during November 2022. Yes, this month at the time of this recording, such as one fan saying, and I quote, I love your attitude and how you always keep your head up, as well as saying, and I quote, keep it up, Vero. Veronica replied, thank you, before seemingly alluding to her relationship status with Justin by saying, and I quote, what's done is done, dot, 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 my energy is better spent on what's next. Now, as per the 90 day single life season three tell all part one, it is clear that the two have broken up with somewhat sour feelings since it felt as though Justin was trying to use Veronica for sex for 12 months until he moved to Florida with his ex. I do feel like my time was wasted, right? And I think nah, that's what, on. I think that's where my hurt comes from is that I spent so much time and emotion in this relationship that didn't really go anywhere. Anyways, Veronica and Tim seem great though, sitting beside each other and feeding off of one another's energy. Good for them and good luck, Veronica, on her future dates and endeavors, whatever they will be. Anyways, that's it for me. I will be back with more content, so why don't you smash that like button, leave me a comment, and subscribe.